Welcome to the Arsenal, Kyra. You're officially a Gooner. How does that feel? Thank you. I'm really happy to be here and I'm looking forward to getting started and becoming an Arsenal player. This will be some lovely deadline day news for our supporters. Can you talk a little bit about how this transfer came about? Yeah, I had a immediately I had a really good feeling and thought it was the best decision and I thought I should trust my gut. And then yeah, from there on it, you know, Hammerby and Arsenal were uh, communicating and yeah, it all happened very last minute. <laughs> You've had an incredible summer playing World Cup over in Australia. You guys came so close to hitting the final. How was that experience for you? Probably a lots of ups and downs, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, playing a World Cup on home so soil, it can't get any better than that. Having your family and friends there and the whole nation watching you and supporting you, it's definitely something I will never forget. You've definitely been picked out as a player to watch for the future, but you've already played Olympics, World Cups, you're only 21. Does that expectation drive you on, motivate you, or do you just stick to, to your game plan? No, I honestly, I still, I don't think I've actually like thought about the Olympics at all. And I don't think I've had time to really think about the World Cup either. So at the moment, it's just, yeah, day by day, um, training and, you know, game every week. Um, yeah, just, it's all normal for me, I guess, and I've got to get used to it. You're joining two of our Aussies, Steph Catley and Caitlin Ford. Are you excited to link up with them on the pitch? Yeah, I love playing with them in the national team and I think having them at Arsenal will help me a lot, a lot more and make the move a little bit easier. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to joining them here. And you've been playing your club football in Sweden for the past year. Have you noticed the kind of differences in the Australian game and the European game since you've been playing your football out there? There is a big difference. I would say Europe is more of a football country than Australia, but I definitely think uh, Australia has changed that um, ever since the World Cup. Um, and I'm really proud of Australia for getting around it. And I hope they keep supporting us and become like the Europeans. And it's an exciting time to join the Women's Super League in England, especially. It's a growing league, lots of momentum, lots of Australian players already over here. Did you speak to any of your teammates before you decided to make the move over here? Yeah, of course, I always spoke to some of the girls in the national team, like asking their thoughts and what teams and stuff. Um, it's always nice to know to get some information before, you know, making a move to the WSL. Um, it's a big league and it's very popular. So, um, and it's also everyone's dream to go play at the WSL. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be here. And you're used to playing sellout crowds over in the World Cup and we recently sold out Emirates Stadium last season and we're looking to do the same again. This feels like a different buzz when you're playing in front of 60,000 people, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm quite used to a big crowd now. Um, and I kind of forgot about that we were playing in a crowd of 75,000 people because you're just so focused on the game. But yeah, I'm really excited to experience Emirates in front of 60,000 people for our first match. And obviously Australians, people who follow the Swedish League will be very familiar with your game. But if you had to describe yourself as a midfielder, how would you describe yourself? I like to get on the ball and dribble. I like to do long passes and combine with players. I also like to put our tens and our nines into good, good positions to score goals and be their best. And just finally, why Arsenal? What made you want to join us here in North London? It just seems like a really great club and a great bunch of girls and a really good environment. Caitlin and Steph have always said good things and I had a really good feeling and it seemed right. Thank you. Can't wait to see you get started. Thank you.